Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's um, Heart to Home devotional. Um, got a little question for you. How many people have been to a wedding and have heard the, the so-called love verses in uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 4? Um, you know, where they quote the, to the bride and the groom or the bride and the groom quote it to each other or the pastor quotes it or someone shares it. Um, it's, it's a great great verses to start a marriage off with. It's a great verse to remind married people of how they should love each other. But we can't do that um, in our own strength. Because if you um, read the verses, and I'll do that right now, 1 Corinthians 13, 4, love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not pride itself. Is not puffed up does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, love never fails. In the Greek language, there's, it's a much more descriptive language. We can say, oh, I love you, honey, or I love hamburgers or, you know, so it's just kind of wishy-washy sometimes the English language as far as description. But in the Greek language, there's storge, which is like family love. There's eros, which is like fig. There's eros, excuse me. There's eros, which is physical love. And then there's um, phileo, which is brotherly love. But then there's also agape, and that's unconditional love. And we say we, we love unconditionally, but it's hard for us as humans. We always have uh, qualifiers on our love, um, even if we don't want to or try not to. It, it's there. But God's love is unconditional. So if we take these verses and read them again, but replace that word love with agape, it sounds like this. Agape suffers long and is kind. Agape does not envy. Agape does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Is not provoked. Thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. Bears all things. Believes all things. Hopes all things. Endures all things. Agape never fails. And if you think about it, you could also replace that word love or agape with Jesus because Jesus never fails. He is the lover of our soul and uh, we thank him for that. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord, and I just thank you for the opportunity to share with my brothers and sisters um, just a few thoughts in uh, your word. Pray that we take it to heart and we practice it in our lives to the best of our ability. But Lord, we just look to you for guidance and direction in all things. In Jesus' name, amen.